Margrethe Samburia was the first confirmed woman to rule as regent of Denmark and ruled Danish Estonia in her own right. She was born around the year 1230 in Germany to Sambor II, Duke of Pomerania, and his wife, Matilda of Mecklenburg, the daughter of the Lord of Mecklenburg. Through her mother, Margrethe had Danish relations and was named in honor of them. At around the age of 18 in 1248, she was married off to Prince Christopher of Denmark, the youngest son of the former King of Denmark, Valdemar II. Valdemar had died in 1241, passing his throne to his oldest living son, Eric IV. He would die in 1250, leaving the throne to his next brother with Prince Christopher and Margrethe next in line. While her brothers-in-law were becoming kings, Margrethe was becoming a mother. Eric would become king, Matilda married the Margrave of Brandenburg, and Margaret, named for her mother, married the Count of Holstein Kiel. In 1252, Margrethe's husband, Christopher, finally got his chance on the throne of Denmark. As queen, Margrethe involved herself greatly in politics, so she was in the perfect position to become regent when her husband died seven years later. There were rumors of poisoning, but whatever the manner of it was, Christopher was now dead and his and Margrethe's son was far too young to rule on his own. Margrethe was thus named regent for her son Eric until he reached maturity. No other dowager queen had become regent in Denmark's history that we know of before Margrethe. However, she had many problems to deal with. One was from her husband's reign. The Archbishop of Lund wanted the Danish church to be independent of the crown, for which he was arrested. The conflict went on into Margrethe's rule. Another problem was her nephews. Her husband's older brother had had sons, and now their mother, Mechtild of Holstein, was fighting for their right to the throne. In 1261, Margrethe and her son were even imprisoned due to this. The marriage of Mechtild to a Swedish noble and the marriages of Margrethe's nieces to the kings of Norway and Sweden were certainly inconvenient to Margrethe, but she was able to lock her other nieces away in a convent before they found powerful husbands of their own. Margrethe, to prevent the succession of her nieces and nephews, wrote to the Pope asking for him to consent to women ruling Denmark so that her two daughters could inherit the throne if her son died childless. The Pope agreed, which later allowed for Queen Margrethe I to rule. Our Margrethe retired in 1264 after a five-year regency. Though she stayed active in politics, her son made her ruler of Danish Estonia, which she actively reigned over until her death. In her later years, she founded the Abbey of the Holy Cross in her native Pomerania. She died in 1282 at around the age of 52 and was buried in an abbey on Germany's Baltic coast. Her son lived for four more years, dying in 1286 and passing the throne to his son, Eric VI. Eric VI was also a minor, so his mother, the Dowager Queen, followed in Margrethe's footsteps and ruled as his regent for seven years. The youngest son of the former King of Denmark, Valdemar II. Voldemort had died in 1241. <laughs> Eric would become king. Matilda married the Margrave of Bardenburg. <laughs>